Hello, I'm Robert Matthew and welcome to CPVLab.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through what CPVLab is and exactly what it can do for you. And uh, next, I can show you a uh, landing page sequence campaign. And again, you can view uh, the page uh, like I showed you before and it will show you everything from the page level. Uh, in this case, we're viewing at the target. Uh, so everything is, all the metrics are condensed for each target. And now here, uh, like I mentioned, it's going to show you everything throughout the entire process. Uh, in this campaign, we have two levels. Uh, we also have a thank you page and pages after the opt-in. So it's showing us all those metrics for every single level throughout the campaign. So you may have a, you know, a campaign where the targets are performing well, you have clicks coming in. Uh, in this case, even, uh, you know, the, the, land, the initial landing page isn't doing so bad at all. Uh, a, little, a little bit higher there, but it did generate a conversion. And then a level two page, you know, you may have this part solid, targets, level one landing page, and then maybe your level two could use a, a, a good deal of improvement, which uh, in this case we really don't uh, need to worry about that too much, but you can still see that throughout all these campaigns. And now here's an interesting part, as I mentioned before. With landing page opt-in performance, uh, it's going to show you we have level two, uh, page one, and level two, uh, page two. And it's going to show you, in this case, we have, okay, level two, page one, had 19 visitors, four opted in on the page, uh, which is 21.05% of those visitors uh, for a total of four subscribers again. And now this page, uh, level two, page two, has had 20 visitors, three opted in through the embed form, which is 15%. We didn't have a pop-up running on this page. And two opted in through the exit pop. So that's a total of five subscribers, 25% subscriber rate. And again, we can see the thank you page performance, uh, the offer performance, campaign performance, the works. Uh, now, one other thing I want to show you here. Uh, here's a run of network campaign. And in this guess why you're not seeing any targets. And again, landing page performance, offer performance, and you may be wondering what this is over here. Uh, this allows you to jump to other sections of CPV Lab for the specific campaign that you're on. So in this case, we're on uh, the BizOp campaign, run a network. Uh, if we click on trends, I'm sorry, optimize, I don't want to show you that quite yet. I want to explain one other thing. We'll jump over to the trends page, and as you can see now, we're in time and day trends. Uh, you can select time or day. You can enter custom intervals here. And actually, let's just do past 30 days. And it's going to update that information. And if you scroll down, it's also going to show you this one hour per line. Uh, so you can easily pinpoint the most profitable and the least profitable times within your campaigns, as well as days. Now again, if we jump back over here, Actually, the Optimize page, the Optimize feature is absolutely kick-ass. Uh, I don't know any other way to put that. Uh, now, if you check out, let's go back to campaigns for one moment here. Let me see. Uh, we'll take a look at this one. Now, if you noticed, some of these are in pink, in a reddish color. Uh, sorry, I'm colorblind. Uh, some of these are in red. Some of these are in yellow. And I'm going to show you exactly what that means. If you go over to the Settings page, you have your general you know, username, password, time zone here. Uh, here's where you add your CPV networks. Here's where you add your affiliate networks. You can back up the database. Now here's where it gets interesting. You have two different sections here. Alert settings. Uh, have you ever had a campaign where you set it up and like you know, an hour or two later you check it out and you've had like one or two targets that have blown through your entire, entire budget? I can't stand that. I absolutely hate that. So to counter that, we actually came up with a application that is a it's a desktop tray app and what it'll do is it will check CP and check in with CPV lab and any of the settings that you enter here any targets that fall within this criteria it will alert you right on your desktop and I can actually show you what that looks like I have a couple alerts you can see here CPV lab alerts uh, last time it was updated and then it's also going to show the campaign and the number of targets in that campaign that require attention, basically. And when you click these, it's going to take you to that specific stats page for that campaign. And you'll notice here you can also have campaign alerts. 
Now, I use this to basically just tell me when it's time to check out a campaign and see if it uh, you know, needs any optimization or any tweaks made to it. Uh, I generally set mine at every 2,000 views. Uh, so again, this will pop and tell me when a campaign, uh, the first time it's hit 2,000 views, and every time a campaign receives 2,000 views. And all these are editable, and you don't have to use them if you don't want to. Now, the, the targets that were in yellow, uh, those are winners. Uh, and they fall within these filters that I have set. And you can customize all this to as you see fit. And you don't even have to use them. You can just leave it blank, and it will not use that filter. But what this does, now this is where it really shines, and this is a huge time saver, is really the optimization process is basically just a series of small decisions that you make over and over and over. Uh, so what we did was instead of having to do that over and over and over, why not just make those decisions once and let CPV Lab tell you what to do from there. Uh, so basically you'll just set your filters. So in my case, for targets, I want to remove any target that has more than 100 views to it and doesn't generate one click, or more than 200 views and doesn't generate one conversion. And you can adjust these again as you see fit. Same with landing pages, and same with the offers. Now let me maximize this. Let me jump back up to the top, and let's go to the optimize section. And you'll see here we're in that campaign we just were in, the uh, education short form campaign. Uh, we're using the current stats to, to base this optimization process on. Uh, you can easily lower your cost per view and increase your cost per view as well uh, from here. Now you'll see you have a couple different sections within the optimize uh, features of CPV Lab. Uh, first is your targets. Now it's going to show you remove, it's going to show you the winners, and also in progress. Uh, so in progress is basically any target landing page or offer that falls outside of the winner filters and the remove filters. Uh, so now what some people have actually done, uh, CPV Lab is not an auto bidder. Uh, it does not have that functionality. Uh, but what some people have done is hired virtual assistants and given them the alerts app. And basically these people just sit around and watch for the alerts to pop up and CPV Lab tells them what to do. Uh, I mean, who really can't understand remove in progress or winner. Uh, and it's that way across the board here for landing pages as well as for offers. And then it also shows you your overall campaign, uh, the performance of that as well at this page. You can export all this information directly to a CSV file, or you can just export the target uh, report uh, to a CSV file and then simply just cut and paste the information into any type of you know bulk upload spreadsheet that you're using uh, with whatever network you're, you're working with. And so the next thing, upload reports. Now we touched on the report section. Here you just select your campaign and upload your reports. It's actually going to tell you what reports need to be uploaded. And you can add multiple affiliate reports uh, because in most cases you can rotate through a ridiculous amount of offers. So you're probably going to have multiple networks you're, you're working with. So you can upload all this data at one time. Uh, CPV Lab will then merge all the data together and give it to you in an easy to read usable format.